Good morning, Mission Control. Uh, coming to you from the office today. Uh, you know, it's exciting seeing those grow walls uh, all come up and uh, start uh, being put together. Uh, also, we see the grow tower starting to get assembled, so that's way cool. Um, on the grow towers, uh, there, I bounced over to the grow walls, you'll notice, in the sequence of videos. And the reason I did that is because uh, I've got some parts coming. Uh, some tools actually they're going to help me do some of that sheet metal welding i've also got some good emails coming in uh, from from subscribers like yourself uh, viewers uh, that have uh, given me some insights and things that i need to do uh, to help make that welding go better uh, so we're going to be checking that out here once they arrive they should arrive today it's wednesday uh, july 8th uh, so hopefully they arrive later today on the big brown bus um, and then we'll be able to get back to uh, welding. We've got some more practice to do, of course, uh, and then uh, we're going to get back to that welding. I've also got the grow walls updated in their design. Uh, thank you, everyone, for your submissions. Some of the comments that have been uh, given, I've actually integrated into the design. And some of the other ones I'm going to hold off on to the next version. I'm going to think about them quite a bit. Uh, so today what I wanted to do in this video is just walk you through some of the stuff that I did uh, in the... Uh, in the design update. So we're going to go ahead and share my screen here. Uh, we're looking at SolidWorks. SolidWorks is a 3D uh, visual you know, design program. Very expensive. We had to pay for it. Oh my goodness. Uh, Cha-ching. A big chunk of our money went to buying SolidWorks. So here we are. We're uh, looking at the, uh, uh, the grow box. Uh, Mark 1, as I'm starting to call them now. We're going to move away from grow wall and start calling them grow boxes. So some things to, to note up front. You'll notice this big uh, cut right here in the top and also this knob here in the bottom. Those two represent each other and that is our new drain. You'll see right in here, see the drain hole right there? Uh, we've got that all put in place and this allows us to get rid of uh, using uh, the drain tube. So now the only thing that we have to connect is in the very back and you'll actually see I have it diagrammed up here to uh, make sure it would work. I did a little human factors analysis here uh, this little tube is off a little bit, but uh, you'll also see that I recessed uh, the entryway here to where uh, the um, uh, the 1032 thread uh, to the barb nipple uh, will go in, and that will give us a little more room uh, when it comes to pushing this against the wall. You can see it will bend nicely there. I also had to change the mount, uh, which we'll get to to allow that to all happen. I still... Uh, some people have, you know, said, how come you don't run the water from box to box to box? Well, I really, I don't think that would work. Uh, and I also don't want to go on the outside because they're meant to be really tight to each other. Uh, so you can have like miles and miles of these things, you know, going. Uh, so I don't want to go on the outside and, and going on the top would make it difficult as well. I think you'd face some of the same problems we had with that drainage tube. Uh, so right now, I also, I like the idea of having a little service loop here so you can pull this off really easily and just pop that off. Uh, a quick connect might be something we go to, a, a viewer suggested that, so we might do a quick connect there. We might replace that barb with a quarter inch quick connect. Uh, that might make it better. Um, this hose right here is still that irrigation tubing, which is meant to have that barb in it, so I think we'll probably keep that. Also, uh, in here, uh, I, I made this hole larger uh, to support the larger uh, posts going in there uh, for conversations. And I've increased the hole size here to uh, number 832 uh, threaded uh, uh, screw. You also notice that we have this new lip up here in the front. Uh, try had to make sure that that thing could get 3D printed. So it, it's a sloped lip. Uh, that brings the water so the water will run down the front and go in here at least in theory and then we have our drain hole there We also created a slope back here uh, So that we could uh, get the water coming off the back and uh, it all just comes down to the drain Because we don't want stuff sitting in there, you know, we don't want it to be like all nasty and stuff um, Yeah, and then we got this the drain drain hole right here And so we don't have to buy any parts, you know, I was looking at gaskets and grommets and stuff like that uh, ways to connect them and I decided that it'd be much better if I could avoid buying more parts and just have it all in one and uh, So I, I, I like what we have going on here. This looks nice uh, Let's uh, let's show the wall mount here. So the wall mount has changed quite a bit um, First thing we did some pokey okey here uh, you notice on the bottom there's grooves now and on the top there are grooves I also put in there 
uh, just a little, you know, here's what directionality it goes. And remember, I had all that problem of where to poke the hole. I actually put in there, here's where you poke the hole at. Um, people have been talking about, you know, all the screws that go into here, and I, I'm in agreement with you. I think we need to work on that in a version two, you know, Mark two. This is the uh, grow box mount, Mark one here. Uh, so I think we definitely need to uh, work on uh, maybe doing a French cleat system like somebody suggested. Uh, so I'm curious what your ideas are. I have reinforced uh, this area. I've removed a bunch of material that doesn't need to be printed so we can print faster. And I made the posts larger, but also shortened them to one inch. Uh, so we should be really good to go. You also notice uh, that I put out this big cutout here. Uh, that's so our service loop uh, could go in there and, and easily press it back now. Before I was kind of like trying to get it to loop up and do all that and it wasn't really easy. So this, this should make it a lot easier uh, and then I put these tubes in here just to do a little, like I said, human factor and kind of seeing how it all works. So when you put these two together, uh, you get a really nice looking uh, system here. The directionality again, um, I think someone, you know, recommended moving away from the, uh, the post and going to like French cleat. Uh, I think that is definitely something we probably want to look at. Um, you know, getting it where the cleat comes out here and it comes down here. Um, I think I think that's a really I like it. Um, we'll be thinking about that one so for sure. So thank you for that the, that recommendation. Also, it was suggested that kind of the same idea be used that you know you you set one of these um, wall mounts up and put the screws in and then you have the rest of them hanging from it. Uh, the hanging from it I kind of have a, a challenge with because uh, they're going to get floppy as you go down. They're going to want to come out. So every now and then you're going to have to tack in another one, uh, which if you have a big wall, like in LifePod 2, you're going to have to do that. If you have a small wall, like in your uh, counter space uh, at your house, uh, certainly, you know, one or two hanging there isn't going to be so bad. But if you go to pull this thing, if the uh, box is a French cleat, then it should be pretty easy. So the French cleat idea is a great idea. And I think Mark II of these will probably integrate that uh, if, if I don't make that change sooner, because these are out in the 3D printer right now, uh, printing, which is way cool. Uh, let's look at the cover. Uh, so uh, Eden has these really cool uh, cover. You know, this is uh, Bart, CEO. That That's the business card there. And you see the, you got the uh, yin yang sign there with the leaf in the water because our system is, you know, self-sustaining, self-supporting. So it's, it took me a while to draw this thing. Uh, and I have it countersunk in there with eat and grow systems on. So I'm, I'll, I'll show you some different variations on this, but I'm curious to know a little marketing research here. You know, is that a cool symbol? Do you like it? Uh, if someone's a graphics artist and, and you guys think you could come up with a better symbol, let me know. Go back, pause this video. You can see, see what it looks like. The only changes on this faceplate are that uh, besides the symbol is that I increase the size uh, of the uh, the holes uh, to be the 832 uh, thread. Uh, you'll notice I just brought this on live uh, here. This is the top cap. So uh, each one of these is meant to stack on each other, but if you have one that goes on the very, very top, you're going to need a little cap there to fill that because nobody wants light or dust or things coming in. Uh, so uh, that will cap that. And there is a Mark I uh, grow box assembly. So now let's uh, let's look let's look at this uh, a little bit more. How they all start coming together. Uh, here's a different variation, by the way, on the uh, symbol. I kind of like this one better. What do you guys think? This one here, this one here. This one looks cooler, I think. Um, all right. So here we have uh, the large uh, magazine holder faceplate. This is the small uh, faceplate, and you can see how all this stuff is going to be uh, coming together now. So pretty nice, I think. Uh, that French cleat idea is really good. Uh, it's just, can we print them? I don't have to think through that. I really like the French cleat idea, though. So I really appreciate that. Now, we also spoke about uh, fairings, right? So we have, um, when you start getting these, oh, let me back up before fairings. So remember when I was doing the install and the very middle box was really, really hard to get to. You could not pull it out by itself. Well, this design, because we've gone to that slip-in drain uh, rather than the tube drain, 
uh, we can now just pull this right out. Uh, the only th only challenge I, I foresee with the uh, slip and drain idea is that you know the water is going to be flowing from top to bottom. So if you have a lot of these, you could potentially get quite a bit of water down on the bottom. Now I made that reservoir fairly large, um, but that drain hole might need to be increased, and uh, so it's something to keep an eye on. Uh, but I think the answer would be just make the drain hole bigger, which we have the real estate to do. That's that's not a problem. So uh, I'm really happy that we can pull these out. So let's talk about fairings. All right, uh, first we needed a mount. Remember on the top, we have uh, where we have to have our elbows and T's. So the very last unit has to have an elbow and then you come out, I can't do a T. <laughs> you have to have a T uh, that goes and that fits uh, right here. So this is where the tube comes up and that elbow is gonna be right in this space here, right here. Now, I could potentially move this tube over a little bit more, um, but what I don't, want to do is mess up my service loop area right here too much. See how that tube comes right down there. So if I move this over, that gives me a little more space in here, uh, which I think I might want to do. So uh, that way the elbow and the T is over more in this white space than it is right up next to this thing. Uh, so this is the uh, top mount here. Uh, you'll notice that it, it has kind of the same idea as far as how it mounts uh, its fairing into it. So let's put the fairing on. Um, you know, I, I think we can do different messages and stuff here. Maybe we could customize things for people if they want to have different messages. Uh, that might cost a lot if we tool up and all that, but uh, engraving would be okay. So then we have the uh, pegs. Let's just make this thing go away. The pegs come out here and it simply slides on and life is good. So there's a top fairing. And then that half inch hose comes right out here, keeping all of it in alignment. The only challenge I think uh, for seeing on this, you know, we have the screw holes here, so more screws, um, is that half inch tube might press out against the fairing and want to push that box off a little bit. Uh, and that might not be okay. Uh, so we could do a, a screw set that kind of pinches it in place is what I was thinking, kind of a screw that pinches the uh, uh, the post and this together. Or if we go with the French cleat system, we wouldn't have that problem. So French cleat, again, kind of kind of coming to the rescue there. Let's go to the bottom. Uh, remember, the bottom is where all the drain is at. Uh, you know, we want to try, try to keep this thing a, as shallow as possible. Um, so there, you got to think of it in different uses. You know, there, there's different ways that this would be used. Um, I'm thinking life pod two. I'm thinking the back of counters. Desktop is not one that I, I'm thinking through a lot, uh, but it is certainly that something that could be used there. Uh, so uh, this version, you know, like having this big fairing on top on a, on a uh, countertop, I don't think you would need it. And the reason why is the countertop you would run all the tubing. You wouldn't have half inch supply tubing on a countertop. You'd have quarter inch supply tubing like a refrigerator, right? And it could be running through all of these. So you wouldn't need this fairing. So this fairing's really for the, the larger wall setups like LifePod 2 or where we're gonna have a lot of these you know, next to each other and you need that larger supply tube. Um, the drain uh, fairing, the bottom fairing here, uh, it, it's the exact same idea as the top. So there's really no change there. And then you just add in uh, you know, there we go. We're trying to do sustainable food and energy independence. Big companies want you to buy everything from them. We want you to be able to grow all your stuff yourself. We just want to give you the tools. Teach a man to fish. And he'll feed himself forever. All right, so very simple design here. Uh, the tube comes down, so we'll probably thread that right there with one of those uh, quarter-inch barb tees uh, and then uh, run everything out just like what we did in the first test. And then that tubing runs out in this little spot right here. Again, the thing to watch out for, I think, is the uh, fact that that tube could press out and push the faceplate out. So French cleat system, again, uh, would stop that uh, for sure. So there you go. Uh, these are the design updates. Um, you can see uh, these are all going to be recessed uh, little marketing cuts that I put in here. Uh, I'm also starting to do some configuration management labeling just to start keeping track of everything since you saw when I was out there. I was like, well, is this the first batch, second batch, which batch is it? Uh, so we got, got those things to work through. Um, yeah.
I, I think that's going to be about it for uh, this video. I wanted to give you a quick update. It's going to take uh, quite a few days to uh, print these up. Uh, we're going to print a full set, a full stack like this, make sure everything works. Uh, and, you know, print a faceplate, print a back, print uh, a mount, make sure all those things work the way that we expect it. And then we'll start, we got to print nine of nine sets, you know, nine boxes total with a fairing. That The reason nine is good, we, you need it at minimum three uh, because you need that middle box to really make sure all the connection and everything pulls out the way it should. Um, so we got to do at least three boxes plus the uh, fairing here. So if I can get the the three boxes all set up uh, with all their mounts and everything, I could probably start a test because we want to get these things growing, you know, as quickly as possible because there's still a lot more to test. So uh, we'll see what we can do there, but we got to get them all printed and make any design changes and go from there. And uh, I really am going to be thinking about that French cleat system because I think that would be better. That would get rid of those posts altogether. Um, Boy, you know, we might we might stop everything and put that French cleat design in. That that's just a really humdinger of an idea. So I forget which subscriber uh, offered that idea up, but I think it is a great one. So we'll we'll think about that. So thanks for following along. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell so you get notified when I put out new videos. And if you uh, want to follow us, you can do so on Twitter, on Facebook, and on Instagram. Uh, if you really like we're doing, uh, like what we're doing, you can support us on Patreon for the cost of less than a candy bar per month. In the meantime, this is the Real Martian.